Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whoever, wherever you are. Uh, lovely to be talking to you. It's Andrew here from Coolia, and today I'm going to show you how to add your Google, sorry, your Coolia tracking code, not your Google tracking code, your Coolia tracking code via Google Tag Manager. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google Tag Manager, and I'm going to first link on my screen. So I'm in Google Browser. I've typed Google Tag Manager, and I've clicked tagmanager.google.com and I'm automatically logged in. I've already got my Google Tag Manager account set up. Um, if you don't have one set up, recommend doing it. Um, and I'm just going to go into the one we've got here, which is Culio MA. Now, a few words of advice about Google Tag Manager. The first thing is why would you use Google Tag Manager? So you will find with a website, there's lots of tags to add. There's tracking tags, there's analytics tags, there's marketing tags, um, your, your Facebook pixel, your LinkedIn pixel, uh, your Google Analytics uh, tracking code. All of those tags um, exist on your website and they're ways of improving and enhancing your customer's experience as well as giving you enhanced marketing and sales opportunities. So they're good. But they can slow down the site if you apply them natively. So if you drop them directly into the code, um, each tag is different, obviously. So some some are really efficient, like the Coolio one. Um, some are less so. So Google Tag Manager gives you a single location where you can run all of your tags in a very efficient manner. So we do recommend Google Tag Manager. It's a great piece of kit. Um, it's a little bit fiddly at times. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through how to do this now. So what we've done is I've set up my Google Tag Manager account. It's free, so just sign up um, using your normal Google account. Um, attach your Google Analytics through here. Nice, easy um, thing to do. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to add a tag. So if I go to Tags, and we can see um, all the tags we've currently got in place. We've got LinkedIn, Google Analytics, uh, Google Ads, Chargebee, all sorts of things. I'm going to click New. Okay choose a tag, so I'm going to click on that tag. Now, there's a list of loads and loads of different tags you can add here. Um, hundreds and hundreds, hundreds. Don't worry about any of those. All you need to be doing is go to this custom HTML. That's it, that's all you need to do. Right, now go into your Coolio account and go into your help, go to setup. And all you need to do is take that first line of the HTTP. So don't don't worry about the body because we're inserting it directly into the body using Google Tag Manager, so we don't need to stipulate that. So just copy that first line there. Starts with open Chevron script, ends with script, close Chevron. Take that, copy it from Coolia, paste it into your Google Tag Manager. Okay, that's the first step. Now you need to say, okay, well, when do I want that to trigger? <clears throat> so you then click this second step. And we're going to trigger that on all pages. So it's going to be applying that tag so you can be able to track all page visits across your site. There we go. So let's save that. Let's call this one Coolia Tracking Tag. There we go. Now you would think that's it. You think it's live, it's not. You've now made this update, you now need to submit it. So you, in the top right corner, click Submit, and then Publish. We're gonna name this, so this is adding Coolia script to site. Um, description, <laughs> I'm gonna basically put exactly the same. In the description, uh, but this is for uh, accountability. You'll have this as uh, as a, a audit trail of tags that you've added. You can switch this tag off at any time in the future. Um, just skip back, uh, so it's very easy to manage. Did I just skip? I didn't mean to skip them. <laughs> there we go. Where's published anyway? So now that is live, and you see in our list of tags, we've got our Coolio tracking tag that is now being fired on all pages and it really is that simple that that's you know as, as complex as it gets for adding a new tag come cool. i hope it helps bye for now